to use the acid differential interference contrast or NAMAR scale, um, you're going to use, need several components. First of all, you of course need source of light, and in this case it's the halogen lamp. And the light should be first polarized, so it goes right here through the filter called polarizer, and you can see it's a darkish glass. And you can change the axis of polarization by moving this handle. Please note that this little bastard will be later on on the way of the laser going through your sample towards TPMT. And our lasers are polarized. So in case if you don't see any light at all on, in your transmitted light uh, channel, please check uh, if the position of pol polarizer changes the, the situation. Uh, then you're going to need two Namarsky prisms. Uh, one is um, placed above the condenser here and another is placed underneath the objective here. You can see that there is tiny metal screw which allows you to tilt the second uh, Namarsky prism. And if you have ultra thin fingers, you probably can even do it in work position. And to know which of the prisms should be positioned here, you can go to our TFT display for a piece of advice. And you can see that for this particular lens, it is advised to use DIC2. So then I check and yeah, it's the right one in the work position and it should be here. Uh, and then you also will need an analyzer which is placed somewhere inside of the microscope here and it's the only component of DIC optics which is controlled from the software. 